Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family run business. No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service, first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport, and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809. everyone we've got a very special show lined up for you this week we'll be meeting Kathleen Malloy from County Galway who is celebrating her 104th birthday and she's a wonderful lady we'll also be meeting Bernard McDevitt who is also celebrating his 100th birthday but first up we are off to the Liverpool Iris Centre to meet Anne and John McCoy who are celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary of course, Anne and John are very well known because they're grandparents to Nathan and Jay Carter and Kira Carter. And it was a very special night for them both because all their family and many friends were there to celebrate with them. I long to sit along with you and wide away the night with tales of your fairy lore beside your Many congratulations, Anne and John. 60 years, fantastic. Flown over. Flown over. Flown over. Tell George every second. Every second. Where did you two meet? Oh, it's a long story. Oh, long. How long have we got? <laughs> John went out with my sister first. Yeah. Then they split up. So he came to the house to visit my mum and dad. He loved them. So he kept coming with flowers and all kinds of presents when he's home from sea. And then one day I was working in a restaurant and um, our manager said, there's three smashing fellas going in the back room there, go and have a look. And I went, oh, hello, John, and that was it. We messed up 
Oh, our first date he didn't turn up. Forgot about that. <laughs> he went the Odeon and I went to the Abbey. Went to the wrong cinema. He didn't turn up. So I went to the cabaret club, which I always went to. Come home at two in the morning. And who's standing at the doorstep at my mum's house? You've, you've had such great times and you've got a beautiful family as well. Yes, lovely, three lovely girls, three lovely grandsons and eight lovely grandchildren. That's, I think that's the legacy you leave, the sacrament of marriage, you know, not play about with it, take it seriously. I took her hand, before you were a world. Oh, well, that's my heart to a girl. Nathan, a very special night for you, Nan and John, here at the Liverpool Irish Centre. Yeah, we're very proud to say that they're 60 years married today. Um, and uh, we've got all the family together, a lot of their friends, and here at the Irish Centre in Liverpool celebrating what promises to be a, a really good night for the 60th. Now, of course, everybody knows your Nan. She's been all over the world with you. And, of course, she's a great sales lady. I wish I had met her uh, many years ago in my life. Yeah, she's been very good to me and Jake, to be fair, now she... Yeah been selling the CDs and the merchandise for years and seems to have more stamina than ever even at the age of 83 she's still acting like a teenager so we're, we're very proud of her and this is the wonderful cake this is the wonderful cake maker cheers groups Jake of course John is a great supporter as well to her yeah definitely he's always been there do you know what I mean even when Nan leaves him to go and sell merch at all hours um, but yeah he's 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 still going great as well he's 90 this year as well so it's crazy and it's it's great to see the two of them still going strong 60 years on she's so proud of you two lads because every time we meet her she's always raving about you and you know wishing you well ah yeah she's always there where well, i'm actually well nathan's just back from scotland she was over in scotland then we did a retreat a dance retreat in marbella she was over in marbella so i think she's more traveled than any of us to be honest at this stage what was she like when you were children growing up? Was she always as supportive? She was always as crazy and as supportive as ever, yeah. Even when we were growing up, um, from a very young age, I always just remember her being on the go and uh, always willing to help anyone. She used to run our local parish club, so she was the landlady there, and she ran a B&B &B at the house called The Real McCoy. And when she wasn't doing that, she was driving me around to gigs uh, and helping sell merch and helping me do the gear, would you believe, at the time. So we were setting up equipment and all that sort of stuff. She's, she's always been 100 mile an hour the whole time, you know, and still is, even at 83. You're all over the country, of course, with Nathan. Oh, I love it. Can't keep me away. I've got the Nathan fever. Tell me where you were last night. Inverness, for the last four nights. And I got home today, it's half past three. Wow. So I had to run in quick, get my head done. It's all been a I'm bit hectic. <laughs> with a happy heart, had a day of journey. With lots of friends and the ones on my mind. Now you've got so many friends and family and people that's come from all over to be here with you tonight. Well, our grandchildren started off in the other Irish centre, the big one in town. Yeah. And let music there and all that kind of thing so we've got a lot of the Irish Centre yeah. to say thank you for. Lots of people here, uh, people travel from all over England, uh, a couple of friends from Ireland as well and um, it's, it's actually uh, yeah, our cousin is here from Australia, uh, Nan's uh, nephew so uh, Declan's travelled all the way to be over to be with, with us tonight uh, to celebrate this big occasion so it's really good, it's going to be a good night. Would you like to read what John put on the cake? Thanks a million angel for 60 wonderful years. You are my angel, John. And I believe you've got a lady here tonight uh, that's come along and she used to be in school with you, John. In my infant class, Monica. You're going to be on television, so... Hello, Monica. How are you? I'm lovely, thank you. <laughs> tell, tell me, what was John like going to school? Was he... Was he a good, good... Oh, he was a good boy, he yes. Was. Oh, yes, perfect. He's changed. So. He's changed over the years, but there you are. Yeah. Oh, I think you are. Are we really? We are going to be on time. And don't go away. <laughs> and, uh, and you're here tonight to celebrate with Anne and John. I am. I'm having a lovely time with both John and Anne. Yeah. Yes. Two lovely people. I've just finished a, a new EP in the studio, so we have new music coming out, and then we're back into panto season uh, very soon. Oh yes. no, you're not. 
<laughs> so it's uh, yeah, it's all go, all go at the minute. We've had a really busy summer um, and still on tour all around the UK now. We've Liverpool this week, coming Leeds, uh, Carlisle, back up to Scotland, Glasgow, all over, and then back to Ireland for Christmas. We're going to do our Christmas concert tour in December, uh, so it's it's really busy. And we've got a Spain trip in the middle of all that as well <laughs> in about four weeks' time. So so Nan's uh, got a very busy yeah. schedule. Nan's, <laughs> yeah. Nan's even busier yeah. than me. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever we are, Nan's there. Yeah. Well, Miss me tonight. Are you sorry we drifted apart? Of course, the old Irish centre, Noreen and Ian was married there. That's correct, yes. Phil Farley was the manager and Nick Redmond on the bar and all the staff. Wonderful staff. Wonderful company. Hi, Mum and Dad. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. Diamond celebrations for two diamonds. Fabulous that you've actually got to 60 years. Both of you still enjoying life every single moment. Thank you. God bless to both of you. Congratulations, San and John, on your 60th wedding anniversary. What an achievement it is. All the very best. John and Anne, I wish you both a very, very happy 60th anniversary. You look great for the two of you. Have a good night. I'd just like to say congratulations to Mum and Dad on their 60th diamond anniversary. Um, they've both been wonderful parents. Um, you never know what's going to happen next, but there we go. And on to Dad's 90th in November. All the best and love you both very much. They've got fantastic energy, they're a really good couple, and they've got fantastic daughters, and I've been very pri privileged to be married to one of them. So all the best, Anne yeah, and John. All the best. All the best. Congratulations, Mum and Dad. I'm just so excited. You're amazing, Mum and Dad. And congratulations on 60 years. Definitely soulmates. Well done. Congratulations. Love you millions. I just want to wish Anne and John the very best for their Diamond Jubilee. Absolutely amazing people and amazing friends. We've been friends for a long time and they've supported me and Barney in our illnesses and absolutely wonderful, wonderful people and a wonderful family that they're from. And so I hope the many, many more years to come. And from me dialysis pal, John, good luck as well. We'd like to wish you, uh, yourself and my granddad Grumps, as we call him, uh, huge congratulations on 60 years of marriage. It's an incredible achievement. We're all so proud of you and we're very honoured and we couldn't have better grandparents, I don't think, so Definitely, fair play. Yeah. Just like to say big congratulations. Happy 60th wedding anniversary, Nan and Grumps. Thanks for everything you do for all of us. We love you millions. Have a great night. Just your memories to break to that bright summer day. And I call you, you can't be without me. Yeah. That's the problem. You couldn't manage without you, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. listen. It's been listen. lovely talking to you. Yeah, well, listen, many congratulations to you both, and it's a pleasure to be here with you both tonight and your family. Thank you. Pleasure to be with you. Well, it's your house and your pacemaker. <laughs> Many congratulations to Anne and John and we wish them the very best of luck in the future and it was lovely to meet all their family on such a special special occasion. Okay we're going to take a break and we'll be back with you in a few minutes. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family-run business.
no matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809. Welcome back. Now we all know it's lovely to live to a great age if you've got the health. Well recently we went along to St Joseph's Home in Manchester to meet Kathleen Malloy from County Galway who is celebrating her 104th birthday and Bernard McDevitt who is celebrating his 101st birthday. I have to say it was a pleasure to meet them both and their families. Happy birthday! Kathleen, many congratulations. You're celebrating a 104th birthday today. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And it's a great honour to a county like this. And I'm delighted to appear. Why wouldn't I? I was a stranger coming here from Clifton in Connemara. But there were lovely people there and very kind. Tell me a little bit about when you first come to Liverpool. Why did you come to Liverpool? Because they, they sent us letters. I wasn't doing anything. Only going out with my dad to inspect the property that they were built properly because there was a, a loan and grant built a grant to people who owned more property than four or five what, acres. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your time in Birmingham and how you met your future husband. I met him at the church. And we used to go to Mass, my single, another girl from Kerry and myself. And uh, we used to go to Mass every Sunday in the, the big church in, in, what's the name? St. Thomas's. Yes, we used to go there. And we met the priest there, and we all become kind of friendly. The priest found us a place that of our own to live. Kevin, my goodness, your mum, she's in fantastic order. Isn't she just? Yes, we're uh, 
very privileged to, to have our mother at such an advanced age. It's uh, a privilege not given to many. And of course, you lost your dad quite a number of years ago. So it's so important to have your mum here. It is. Uh, he, he, was a, he was a great man. And uh, um, yeah, he died relatively young. And certainly compared with my mother, he died very young. God bless her. She's got great health now. Did she always have good health in life? Well, she's had mixed health, really. She had a quite a massive operation after our father died. And she had um, an, aneur an aorta aneurysm. She was rushed in and they didn't think she'd be here, but she still is. So, yeah, she seems to just take it and fight it and go with it, you know. And she said, put your trust in, in the doctors and go with them. Let me tell you. My first baby died. We, we were in the, the hospital in the evening time, and we said goodbye to her. But Tom, my husband, said, she looks as if she's dying. Why are they sending us home? But they said no, that she wasn't. And they sent us home. And when we got, we were all inside the door when the door went to see if she had had it. I don't think she really got over that fact. She, you know, she was very young and, and uh, it was something that stayed with her, is still with her, you know? She still thinks about her. It's fantastic she's here at St. Joseph's Home and they're all so nice and put on a lovely party today for her. Well, I have to say that the, uh, the little sisters of the poor are uh, an inspiration and uh, we're very privileged that we were able to share our lives with the little sisters and for them to support mom in her, in her old age. It's uh, been, been a tremendous thing for us. I've come here as a volunteer about three and a half years ago. I didn't know much about the little sisters, but being in the home, I come in two or three times a week and seeing the little sisters and how they care and the love and how they cherish these elderly people. I, I, I have nothing but admiration for them. And the little sisters themselves, they are the little sisters of the poor. They really don't have anything. They live up in the convent, very, I'm sure they won't mind me saying, it's very basic what they live in. But when you look around the home and see how wonderful it is. There's a lovely chapel here as well for people that want to go and say a prayer or whatever. Yeah, it, it's so lovely. They can go to Mass this morning, Mass. They have evening prayer. They have benediction. It's, it's beautiful. You had a lovely presentation there, a, a special blessing from the Pope. Oh, yes, I was, I'm very lucky. I was always lucky, thank God. There's a, a, a medal from the President. Oh, thanks. Will I take it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you all for your efforts. And everything has been done beautifully. That's a, a third, third one now, um, the, the medal, that is. Um, um, and. Uh, She's, she's very proud of that. What was she like as a mother-in-law? Well, she's uh, quite demanding, I suppose. I mean, I, I've known her now for over 50 years since I, I first met Una, and it's taken most of that time to convince her that I was good enough for her daughter, I think. <laughs> but uh, I, I think I got there in the end. I've worked at the, at the sweet factory okay. for... Uh, how many years? A long time. A very long time. I might as well go chasing the afternoon. I'm Bernard and I'm going to be 101 years on Sunday. Well, many congratulations to you, Bernard. You're in fantastic order. Thank you. Now, that's a great voice. Where do you come from, Bernard? I come from Donegal. The pride of all, my heart still turns to thee. 
And what age were you when you emigrated from Donegal? I left home when I was 18 and joined a religious order, the order being called the Alexian Brothers. And they cared for sick people and old people. They did. They'd done great work down the years here in Manchester as well. They did. Yes, yes, they did. You're right. But I progressed in the, in the, the, the order. And then when it came about that I had to take final vows, I left. I didn't, I didn't want to take final vows. So I left the order. I trained as a nurse in Hope Hospital. And did you like that job? Oh, yes, I loved it. Yes, oh, I loved it. And, you know, got promoted. I like caring for people, even though some of them can be quite difficult. I'm one, one of 14. But the vast majority of them are dead. Um, and I've been in nursing all my life. And I went back to Ireland to care for my mother. And I stayed there and cared for her until the day she died. And then when she died, I came back here. And here I am. I enjoyed every moment of what I did. And no regrets. Oh, I like horse racing. I like football. And uh, I look like a lot of the, uh, games. I could even speak Irish fluently one time. Wow. Can you say me a few words now? Will to go ma? Why do you volunteer so much and what do you get out of it? It's just lovely to come in and to see the residents, to make them laugh, to smiling, uh, to make them happy, to sit and chat with them. Because we do have residents that don't have any family. Um, so just to spend time with them. And I get, I get great joy out of it. We had a lovely party in there today. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Yes, of course I did. I enjoy any group of people, particularly when they're singing. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. And, and You? I'm surprised I hadn't heard about you before. Yeah. Well, well, there you go. You never know who you can bump into any day, Kathleen. No, you don't. That's for sure. I was born in a little village in County Donegal, where one side of the street didn't speak to the other. My goodness, why was that? The cemetery and the church. We wish Kathleen and Bernard the very best of health. And I have to say, St. Joseph's Home really care for everybody, but they put on a lovely day for their birthdays. It was great to meet you all and well done. We'll be back next Thursday night at 7.30 with the Irish in the UK. Until then, take good care of yourselves.